coming directly from the Blender game properties and just do whatever. This is actually a demo using uh, only Logic Bricks. Uh, game kit also supports uh, UA and also supports C++, which we are using for our game engine. And the possibilities are, are, are really great since prototyping with this is really easy and, and you get all the advantages you have from Ogre and all the advantages from everything you should want to do with game engine. So I'm going to look at the blend farm for a moment. It should come out. Yeah, there it is. So this is the scene. And as you can see in the bottom, everything regarding the most basic functionality of the scene is in logic works. Um, this is actually uh, something I played with a little bit, doing uh, really quick prototyping, and it works quite well, and fine. Um, to look at something that... Okay, if you look at one of those um, physics boxes, you can see that if we're moving to physics right now, in under the game that is just uses the physics properties from um, from the game engine components and then translate it into functioning components within the game. And although this is really fine and this is a really great application, this was not entirely all the things we need. So what we did was using GameKit as a base, a C++ demo, and um, add to the list of what other things we need. Uh, one of the things were networking, which is quite important nowadays in the game.